Another big crowd here tonight at the stadium. Welcome to the Carlin Lynch Activity Center. We're and ready to go in. here from the stadium. That will go. Coach Lassie getting her team fired up. What a game. Nothing fancy, just end the game. Not returned, and the point goes to the Indians. It deflected in! Oh, what a save. The Indians get the point. What a slid hit. Goal! Did she score? Yes, she does! They may not catch him. Puts the Indians on the board. The Indians will win it. The crowd is going crazy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this telecast of Dartmouth Community Media. I am Ben Smith on the call with you guys today for our girls' volleyball matchup between uh, Durfee High School and your Dartmouth Indians. Today it will be an interesting matchup as it's an SEC conference matchup. Uh, both teams right now coming in here. Uh, Indians are 12-3, and three, played an excellent matchup. Uh, the other day against the New Bedford Whalers, which they won in three sets. At one point, they were leading this. They won the set 25 to four, and the other set was uh, I think nine to 25, and the final set was 13 to 25. Dartmouth won that set. And as you can see. She's here, ladies and gentlemen. The serial killer herself, Ava Crane, has arrived all the way back from South Car University of South Carolina. Um, glad to have her back here. So we're going to pause for a quick second for our national anthem. All right, welcome back to this broadcast right now. Once again, if you just tuned in, it is Durfee, Dartmouth girls volleyball record. Uh, Indians coming in at a 12 and three record and the Durfee Hilltoppers at a four and 11 record. Coach Lassie giving our teammates some support before we start off this fun SCC matchup today. And here comes your starting lineup for your Dartmouth Indians. Number 10, Haley Jenkins. Number two, Adeline Ablett. Number 11, Elena Strozik. Number four, Olivia Aruda. Number 12, Madison Goldson. And number 22, Brooke Davis. This has been a fun team to watch for Dartmouth. This year, they just defeated uh, Dennis Yarmouth, who is a tough opponent, one of the top teams. Uh, their first set against, uh, what do you call, uh, Dennis Yarmouth started off 31-29.
past 25 point mark. And one point in the second set, they were leading at one point 16 to one. And Dartmouth ended up winning that those sets three to nothing as well. Olivia Ruda to start off the honors, and here we go from the Carl Lynch Activity Center, batted up in the air, now tossed up from Masute. Now here is Davis. Goes sails out of bounds to start off the game, and Durfee strikes first. A little too far there for uh, Brooke Davis. Got to get a little, bit, a little bit more power down next time. Serve from Gomes. Touched up. Jenkins. Served attempt. Tries to get it in, and that goes out of bounds, and Dartmouth gets the point there. Jenkins once again to serve. Serve from Jenkins and goes out of bounds. 2-1 Durfee. Jenkins comes out, Velasquez comes in, the libero. Libero number five, Alexis Lane to serve, touched up. Ablett underneath, a great dig by the libero there. Touched up from Strozik. Correct. Davis on the uh, kill attempt. I'm messing up with Crane because Crane's here today. <laughs> Golden, out of bounds, 3-1, Durfee. See, Dartmouth likes to start off a little bit slow until they catch their momentum. Serve from Lane. Touch up from Strozik. Davis underneath. A dig there. Block from Ablett. And uh, another Durfee point. Four to one Dartmouth. Uh, Durfee, excuse me. Dartmouth trailing by three to start off this game. The Libero Lane a serve. Serves it over. Touched up from Strozik. Ablett on the kill attempt. Saving it alive, but that seals out of bounds. Four to two, Dartmouth trails by two. Touched up. Block there from Milena Strosik. Brings it down three. 3-4, Dartmouth by one, trailing by one. Golden to serve, touched up. Bringing it over from Gibney, touched up. Davis, kill attempt, serving it up high, and goes out, and we got a tie game here. Goldson once, once again to serve. And goes in for an ace. Maddie Goldson. Goldson to serve. Touched up. Bringing it over, Gibney. Touched up from Shozik to Ablett. Puts it underneath. Goes down, Dartmouth point. 6-4 Dartmouth. Goldson to serve. Touch over from Lane. Now the bat and another Dartmouth point. It looked like Gibney tried to save it, but to no avail. Touched up. Trying to go for the attack, but to no avail. 8-4 Dartmouth. And Goldson once again. 
touched off the defender. 9-4, Dartmouth up by five. Now this is the point towards the replay where they call timeout here, but they're not gonna call it. Durfee's not gonna call a timeout. They're keeping it alive after a 6-0 run. Touched up from Shozik to Davis. Batted up from Lane. Attack from Ordono. Block there. That should be double touch though, but three touches. 10 to four. Dartmouth up by six. Touched up. Ablett, block right in front. Now back out to Davis. Serves it up. Keeping it alive. This is such a pinball game right here. Now Ablett once again. Touched up again. Gibney right in front. Dig underneath by Goldson. Keeping it alive. Gomes touched up from Ablett. Now Strozik to Davis. Puts it down. Another dig. Gibney blocked there. And the game ends. The pinball game ends in a Dartmouth point. And a timeout. Wow, I was losing a lot of energy there. I like I like this momentum. The amount that these sides are not giving up on this play. Eleven four. Indians break the timeout. Clock winding down. And Goldson once again to serve for the Indians. Serve from Goldson, touched up on the air. Gibney serves it right in front. Touched up from Strozik. Ablett puts it down. And that's a Dartmouth point once again. 8-0 run. For Dartmouth, excuse me, 9 0. No, it's 11 0. 11 0, I'm sorry. I keep. I kind of don't. Uh, and they just gave up that run there. And 5 12, Dartmouth up by 7. Carvalho comes in for Dartmouth. Serving it is Casey Carvalho, touched up from Davis. Bringing it over the net, Ablett there. Now back out to Gibney, Reagan Gibney. Keeping it alive, Strozik to Ablett. Puts it down. Now to Gibney once again. And she ran into the net. But in other words, out of bounds, Dartmouth gets the score there. Olivia Aruda comes out. And a little bit of miscommunication from Reagan Gibney. She didn't have really good coordination on that ball. Davis to serve. Touched up. Ablett, right in front, McKinnon. Puts it down there. Dig a tempo. Fails. 15-5 Dartmouth. Davis to serve next. Serves it over. Touched up, Strozik. Now McKinnon, a little too far out of bounds. 
Durfee trailing by nine. Attack from Ablett. Ablett once again, second chance. She gets the second chance. 16-6. Look at this play. Ablett just said, give it to me. I got you. Batted by Jenkins, but goes inbounds on Dartmouth's side, 16 to seven. Dartmouth still leads. A little too hard there from Brooke Davis. Ball sails out, 16 to eight Dartmouth. A power hit from uh, Chloe McKinnon. She's been really good as a sophomore, and Haley Jenkins puts it down. Now that's for all the dogs. <laughs> to all my Drake fans out there who like Drake, his new albums for all the dogs. That's a Drake reference. I've been listening to too much of him lately. Touched up from uh, Davis, but now keeping it alive. Gabby right in front, unable to get the dig. 19, not eight to 19, Dar nine Dartmouth. Touched up from Strozik, right in front. Now that's a typical example of telling that's for all the dogs. Now she plays like a, a fighting dog, like a bulldog or a Rottweiler. Touched up. Hits the net. Now there, now Durfee's mocking uh, Haley Jenkins reference. Touched up. Power hit from Golden. 2010 Dartmouth. Jenkins to serve. Attack from Davis. Touched up. Now right in front, a dig attempt from a Cabral. Excuse me, Aruda. Naya Boone. On the attempt, 11-20, Durfee by, trails by nine. Touched up, now Davis. That's four touches, so the point goes to Durfee. Hits the net. Maddie to serve. 
keeping it alive, but that's gonna stay inbounds after three touches. Darman needs three points to get the set point here. Touched up. Off the block there. Durfee gets the point after the ball, after the ball stayed in bounds off the block from Ablett. See, this is a, a typical example of height advantage, uh, advantage from Dartmouth is that they are really good on the depth with height. Their height has been really good this year. Once again, Ablett touches it over, puts it down. 23 to 13. But again, height advantage is really key, especially with a net like that. You want to make some good blocks right underneath the net. Touched up. McKinnon keeping it alive, but unable to. Off the defender. 14-23, Durfee trails by nine. Dig underneath from Velasquez. McKinnon tries to keep it alive. Velasquez keeps it alive. McKinnon's got to serve it over. She does, touching it over. Now attack there, hits the net. And Dartmouth is one point away. Great uh, execution by Jocelyn Adorno. Trying to get the attack. Now Gabby Velasquez to close out the first set. Going the wrong way on that play. Now Jake gets to finish it. She doesn't. Durfee's still alive. Here's the serve. Now to McKinnon to finish it off. That goes out. See, Dartmouth doesn't struggle to close out the set. They just want to give them, they're showboating right now. I wouldn't say showboating, but they're trying to give the advantage as it is. But keeping it alive. One more try around the horn. Velasquez keeps it alive. Now Victoria keeps it alive. Touched up. And the point goes for Dartmouth. Now I am telling you, that's why you always put Gabby as libero. She's really good on the chase down and really good on that defense. And that closes out the first set. We're going to look at an instant replay here on this set. Final Now, now look at this. This was a critical situation. Victoria keeping it alive. But Dartmouth wins that first set. 25-16 at the end of one. We will be right back right after these commercial breaks. Do not go anywhere.
and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this wonderful telecast of Dartmouth Community Media. I'm Ben Smith, and if you are just joining in, we are, hope you guys are enjoying your evenings right now. Had a beautiful day at, up at in Foxborough at Gillette Stadium for MassQ 2023. Uh, got to see uh, all the technology providers and whatnot there tonight, uh, today. It was a beautiful day up there. Got to see some of the players. Um, I seen the quarterbacks warm up, Mac Jones, Will Greer, and Zappi. Although I'm disappointed in bo uh, all of them right now. But it was a really cool experience, to say the least. And then later on, the special teamers came on to the field where uh, tonight, uh, Voke is playing on there tonight uh, at Gillette. And Voke is playing next week here on Dartmouth Community Media. We'll, we'll be, I'll be on that game as well. We got an action packed week so far too, especially tomorrow. Unified basketball. Get to see me in a jersey tomorrow. Uh, Kaden Demanch, our newest commentator, will have the coverage on that call tomorrow. Other than that, field hockey, Friday, 4 o'clock. Football, 7 o'clock on Friday, senior night there. Dangerous situation to start off for Durfee. Touched up, Jenkins! Now touched up. Dig attempt, unable to get that one. But Dartmouth... Starts it off, first point of the set. And I, you know, especially Durfee has, is a wonderful school. New, very brand new, I'm talking about the school in general. They're a really nice school, it's a really nice school. I think it was like, 1.2 million, I don't know. How much, I don't know how much it was. If I did the math, I would know. Uh, now Ablett. Right in front. Try to go for the dig. That is Naya Boone. 3 1 Dartmouth. Attack from Boone. Boone once again touches that one up. Now, Boone trying to keep it alive. That's going to be four touches. 4 to 1 Dartmouth. Goldson to serve. Touched up. Attack there. Goldson saves it alive. Try to do the kick soccer move. 5-1 Dartmouth. Attack from Davis. Durfee trying to keep it alive, but unable to. 6-1 Dartmouth. And try not, trying to keep it alive, but to not, to no avail. 7-1. Goldson to serve. Serves it over the net. Touched up. Going the other way. In Dartmouth. Another point there. They've been on a 6-0 run. Well, 
That didn't work there. Riley Curran tried to kick it to keep it alive. Nine one Dartmouth. Here's the serve from Goldson. Curran to keep it alive again. Touched up. Ablett in a kill there for Adeline Ablett. Ten one Dartmouth. Now, here's the serve from Goldson. Davis, bat it up, but keep it alive. Velasquez, now Aruda keeps it alive. Try to not get the three touches. Touched up. Ablett, attack there, and a kill once again. Puts it down. Wow, Velasquez digging it to keep it alive. Puts it down, 12-1 and a timeout. And that's something you should celebrate about if you're Dartmouth right now. Just put 10 unanswered points. And the crowd warms up for Durfee. All right, here's the serve from uh, Goldson. Trying to keep it alive. Now Davis puts it right in front. Now Boone trying to keep it alive. Touched up. Ablett once again. Aruda keeping it alive. Trying to save from the three touches. Kill attempt unable to. Dartmouth point. 13-1 Dartmouth. I want to thank everyone for joining this telecast of Dartmouth Community Media. And if you're tuning in on Fred TV Sports, Ben Smith here on the telecast tonight. Goes out of bounds. 14-1 Dartmouth. And serving it up, going the wrong way, 15-1. Now this is the example what I was telling you about earlier. Dartmouth was up 16, they're up 15-1 right now, but they were up 16-1 against Dennis Yarmouth the other day in the second set. Hits the net. Sixteen and one. Here's Golds in a serve. Touched up from Strozik. Underneath, Ablett tries to put it down. Part two. This time, Davis touched up, and a Dartmouth point. Seventeen to one, Dartmouth. Man, we got a show for you.
sails out of bounds. Martin trying to keep it uh, in. Ends the streak of 15. Oh. Goldson comes out. A little too hard on that serve. Goes out 18 to Dartmouth. Attack, great attack there by Victoria Gomes, but sailing out of bounds, 19-2, Dartmouth up. And again, another point for Dartmouth, 20-2. See, this reminds me of Dartmouth the other day. They were starting off strong against New Bedford in the first set. 4 to 25 was the final uh, in the first set in that game. Dartmouth, of course, won that set and won that game. And touched off the defender for Dartmouth 20 to 3. And a hard hit. Swing, swinging it out of the park there. 21 to three. This has to be the biggest margin Dartmouth has been leading all season long. Now, in the second set, I'm saying. Twenty two to three as it went underneath the ball went underneath the net. Dartmouth needs three more points to close out this set. Hits the net. Durfee gets the point there. Hits the net again. 23-4, Dartmouth. V Victoria Carvalho comes out. Back in, Goldson. Now to serve, Strozik. And goes out of bounds. One more point for Dartmouth to take the set. Touched up. A dig attempt to no avail. Velasquez trying to save it. Now the serve from Victoria Gomes. Serves it over. And It looked like it hit off the knees of Haley Jenkins there. And they're, got, they're gonna get a laugh out of that. However, Dartmouth closes out this set. 2-0. Dartmouth leading. Final score of this set, 25 to six. And we'll be right back, right after this. Do not go anywhere, folks.
Dartmouth pride, let us welcome to the field our Dartmouth football team! And we are back on this telecast of Dartmouth Community Media. Uh, and if you're tuning in on Fred TV, I am Ben Smith once again. Hope you guys are enjoying your evening on this wonderful Wednesday night in D-Town. Here's the serve from Aruda. And now the crowd has broke out, finally. Davis gets the point for Dartmouth. Looked like it hit one of the Durfee players twice. And the serve. Strozik tries to keep it. Oh, and Aruda! Oh! Goldson trying to keep it up. Ah, that was... Aruda had all ball on that one, and so is Goldson. Goldson had all ball. Touched up from Strozik. Touched up. Now Davis. Now Davis once again. Out of bounds this time. This is Durfee's first lead since the first set. Hits the net again. Two to two. <laughs> Here's the serve from Jenkins. <laughs> and keep it alive. Three to two, Dartmouth. Here's Jenkins, once again to serve for Dartmouth. Serves it, oh, hits the net. I 
I want to I want to point out uh le our most recent telecast we had uh we shown you guys this wonderful scores table which is state of the arc to say point goes to Darmouth uh 4 to 2 but again, this scores table, it's impeccable to say the least. It's really nice and really well designed. A great play there from Dartmouth. Goldson a serve. Touched up. Putting it down. Unable to. Now Ablett trying to put it down. She tries to, but it goes the other way. Backwards for Durfee. But she's, they still get the point. Goldson hits the net. Substitution change. Victoria Carvalho comes back in. Goldson comes out. Oh, a little bit too hard for Gabby. Here you go, <laughs> she had all ball on that one. She went airborne, to say the least. Critical mistake there for Dartmouth. Strozik trying to save it, trying to do a dig underneath the net, but to no avail. But I want to point out today, uh, Eva Crane, uh, also known as the serial killer in my own words, uh, she showed up uh, in Ablett. Puts it down. Now, Aruda and McKinnon come back in, but the shock from the team, when Ava showed up, it was just... A stampede of hugs coming in from the team. An ace there for Brooke Davis. That is so aceum there. That was aceum. Block right in front from Ablett. Trying to keep it up, but unable to. All right, bat it up. Keeps it alive. There's Gomes. Now touch up, Strosik. Now Ablett right in front. Serving it over from Depina. Ablett puts it down. 11 of 5. Oh my God, Dartmouth. <laughs> Served it over. Touched up. Now McKinnon. Batted back up. And a good play for Durfee as they catch a break. Jocelyn Adorn Adorno. Oh, a little too. That was close, though. I'll give her credit. Okay, 
and goes in for an ace. Gabby had that right in front of her. She thought it was out of bounds. A little bit of a, a senior mistake there for Gabby. Strosik for a kill! McKinnon bats it off. A block. And another ace for Dartmouth, Brooke Davis. I see you, Gibby. <laughs> and now the crowd is going. They love Gibby. Out of bounds off that. I mean, it was a little bit close. I think it was between the inline. Ardorno is a serve. Touch up from Shosik. Jenkins puts it down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Haley Jenkins. At the same time, you got to get phenomenal execution to Dur uh, Durfee right now. Props to your props is due. They're fighting, giving it their all at this moment. Touched up. Out of bounds. Strozik to serve. I believe this is Strozik's first serve of today. Served over from Gomes. Touched up. McKinnon puts it down! Chloe McKinnon! Another kill for Dartmouth. Yet she's a sophomore. The enthusiasm of a sophomore is really key in this situation. Up in the rafters. That ball sailed. I don't know how that was alive. Running into the same person that is Madison Ferrer and Riley Curran. A little bit of a mistake there. 18-9 Dartmouth. Seven points to take the set. And attack, Jenkins, oh, a little bit. Too far. Touched up. Goldson, batted off. Now Gomes. Touched up from Strozik. Jenkins puts it down. An asteroid just collided at the Carl Lynch Activity Center. See, the Jenkins family loves it. Hits the back end of the post. 20 to 10, Dartmouth. Five points and a timeout has been taken by Durfee. Oh, wait a second. I, th I think they mistaken Durf, uh, Dartmouth there on that timeout.
Team breaks the huddle, both teams do. And we're back in action. All right, here is Aruda to serve. Serves it over. Backed out to the libero there. That's Payne. Jenkins, again! Another one! Gonna be bringing up DJ Khaled references soon. A block there from Jenkins. She's been lights out today. Hits the net, 11-22. Here's the serve, out of bounds. 23-11, Dartmouth. Now Jenkins, two more points for the Indians and then they close this game out. And there goes the crowd, cheering for number 10, Jenkins. Oh, a little bit out of bounds. Great eyes by Durfee. Now I think if I am a fortune teller, I think this will be another Dartmouth point. And I'm not going to be biased. I'm not biased. Well, in the rules of jinxes, that was the worst take I've ever made. That was terrible. Serve. Touch up from Strozik. Now Ablett puts it down. Now Dartmouth is one possession away. One point away from closing this one out. The other Crane sister, Olivia, to serve. Hopefully to close this one out to move them to 13 and 3 on the year. Serves it up. Touched up. Blocked there from Ablett. Now Kyla Martin trying to keep it alive. Now Aruda bringing it the other way. Martin to finish it. Unable to. Touched up. Now Strozik to Martin. Batted away. Strozik puts it up. Hits the rafters. Hits the net and that will be game. That was just a pinball game to say the least towards the end. But Dartmouth were, was able to close that one out in three sets today. The final score at the end of this set, 25 to 14, 3-0. Dartmouth clean sweep through the set. So uh, Dartmouth moves to 13 and three and the Hilltoppers go to 14 and 12 on the year. Meanwhile, folks, we have coverage tomorrow on Unified Basketball. You get to see me in the jersey. Count me out, number 36, Ben Smith. Uh, and then we have Field Hockey Friday, and I'll be on that call as well. Um, and then, yeah, and then all next week it's going to be me. All right, folks, after this, um, the final score, 3 to nothing, Dartmouth. For our director, Chad Amaral, and the rest of our crew in the truck on Dartmouth Community Media, I am Ben Smith saying so long, Dartmouth. <laughs>